Uh, quarantine. Hey guys, it's your friend Perfect Pizza Six here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be discussing me and the YouTube algorithm. Now, if you don't know already, I have over a thousand something videos, so if you guys get bored, there's tons of content for you guys to go through and watch. But all that content that is there, guess what? It has, like, less than 10 views, the majority of it. It's in the single digits. But today I'm going to be talking about how I have and haven't broken the YouTube algorithm. Now, I do have certain videos where the YouTube algorithm has been nice to me. But the majority of the time, my videos are never to be seen, never to be heard. But we're going to be talking about those videos that are seen for the first portion. I'm going to be, like, explaining what the heck... Why are these videos special and why aren't any of those specials? So, first up, my most popular video, the Top 10 Steely Dan songs. That was published two years ago. It didn't really get any traction at all. Like, it got, like, 10 views, like, after a couple days. Like, it was it was very slow. It, was, it wasn't getting a lot of views. Then, I think the guitarist or something like that, I forget who it was, for Steely Dan died. And then that video, all of a sudden jumped up like like exponentially it just went up so much after after he died and then my view count went from like maybe about a hundred to like ten thousand within like a week so it was like crazy i'm like holy crap like i even wrote in the comment this video will get like no views because i when i made the ranking like i didn't think that anyone who watched my content likes steely dan and i didn't think it, anything like that would ever happen my second most popular video is top 10 Tom Petty songs. Now that video was published the day he died. I don't know whether he died that day, but it was he announced that he was hospitalized and like I was like, okay, I got to do this. And this video got like maybe like a thousand views within an hour. <laughs> like no joke. Like it, it went really quick. It it was that crazy. Then top 10 Robert Earl Keen songs is number 3. Now that video, I don't know why that one's special. I I honestly don't know. Uh, people just might. There's not many Robert Earl Keen rankings out there, so I'm guessing when someone looks up top ten Robert Earl Keen or like best Robert Earl Keen, that comes up. And then fourth is ranking every Minecraft music disc. Now the reason this one gained so much traction is kind of funny. Is Jay Schlatt did a tier ranking of his favorite music discs. And, well, not just his favorite, but all of them. He did a tier ranking of them. And this video got in the up next for some people to watch. And I'm like, like, people told me, like, how this video got in there. And I'm like, holy crap, that's, like, really funny. <laughs> like, that's how people found my channel, actually. Like, a couple people found it from that video and was like, okay, well, you got content. And like, I was like, mm, okay. Top 10 Drive-By Trucker songs. Same thing with the Robin Orkeen. Not many rankings there. Uh, top 10 Laura Brum songs. This song, or this ranking, actually got put on her playlist on her YouTube channel. That's how this one's getting a lot of views. But those are the top 6 most viewed videos on my channel. And those are the reasons why. Now... Why aren't any of my other videos gaining views? Like, I put out content a lot. It's not like I don't put out content. I try my clickbait titles. I, I don't know what to, what else to do. My ranking videos still get more traction than any of my gaming videos. But, but I still put out way more gaming content now than I used to, like, a year ago. Like, if you told me a year ago that I was going to have more gaming videos, like... Than ranking videos, I've been like, nah. But, yeah, I have way more gaming content now than I did before. But, it comes at a cost. I lost a significant amount of views. Like, imagine if I was still doing rankings at this point. And honestly, though, ranking, at least in the Monster Cat community, has kind of died off in the past year or so. So... Like, there's not really many, there's, there's not that much viewership. So that's why I only do, like, the major months, the major compilation albums for Monster Cat. 
and that's that's pretty much it for that kind of content. I want to know in the comments what what you guys think is the difference. Like, is it thumbnails? Is it title? Like, what is the difference between me and other YouTubers that uh, I don't get as many views or get noticed as much? Like, I still put in a good amount of effort into editing and like everything like that, but. I, this is just a hobby, but I'm I have I still have like a week and a half off, so I, I want to figure something out, see if I can work things out, and if this break for from school gets even more extended, I can work even harder on YouTube and get more views, you know, because this is my sort of time right now where I can basically free time to pump views up for myself to maybe make this into something, you know, but. Yeah, that's basically it for this discussion video. If I hope you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow with hopefully a, another Minecraft video. Uh, hopefully we can finish off the music disc series before I even finish my island house. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Later, guys. Hey, guys. Let's do that again. That didn't work one bit. Me crack my knuckles. All right, should we start or not yet? I mean, this this is probably the reason why I'm even making this topic because I can't even figure out how to do an intro. Hey guys, it's friend Perfect Pizza Six here, and welcome back to another video. No, that's that's too over the top for what we're discussing. All right, I can't believe I took like eight takes to do an intro.